Hi, this is Christina from OfficeToDo.com. In this lesson, I'm going to guide you through the text editing possibilities in Office PowerPoint. Making your presentation spectacular can be achieved through various designing tools and in this lesson, I'll tell you the basics of text editing. You can find the needed tools from the home view on the ribbon. They are divided between font and paragraph section. In the font section, you have the buttons like bold, italic, underline, and also font type and size selection possibilities. Let's now make our title more visible and use bold and underline buttons. For this, we select the title and press B and U. For the author name, I believe italic and another font is suitable. Italic can be applied by selecting the name and pressing I. In order to apply a new font, we have to select the text, which in this case is already done, and from the drop-down menu choose a new one. Since live preview is shown, it is easier to choose the right one for you. Font size can be changed in two ways, choosing the appropriate number from the list or pressing the buttons just next to the size selection, increase font size and decrease font size. Those buttons move the font size up or lower by four sizes. Other cool features in PowerPoint are strike through and text shadow. First one is obviously meant for striking through the text in order to show, for an example, the thoughts that weren't meant to be right. Text shadow is meant for making the text to shine out more, to emphasize the importance of the word or sentence. It suits best for titles. And on top of that, let's color our title into a different color. We have our title selected and we push the A with a red line under it. You should choose standard in case you're going to open the file or share the file with someone having an older version of PowerPoint. Otherwise, you can also use team colors. Choose the color that best suits you. In paragraph section, we can also change the alignment of our text. For an example, we can place the text on the right or on the left side. In our case, both the title and the author name are in the middle. Changing the alignment can be done by placing the cursor on the line anywhere in the text and pressing the alignment button suitable for you. We are placing the author name on the right side of the slide. Paragraph section has some other cool features as well, but we will come to those later on. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson on office2do.com. Bye!